Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. In our previous video, I have shown you that how to calculate required data for wheel load analysis. And in this video, I am going to show you that how to input that wheel load data in ETAPS according to ASCE 705 for BNBC 2017. So let's start. I'll open our Excel sheet. Here is the Excel sheet. So here is our data. So after that, I'll open our e tabs. So from here, you have to go define load pattern, and from here, win load. extraction after that we have to select here wind from here we will select ASC705 and add new load go modify so from here we have to select that I mean we have to change that all value according to excel file so first of all wind spirit is 166.652.652 exposure type b importance factor 1.15 1.15 and KZT it's one ghost factor ghost, ghost factor is uh, 0.8493 and here directionality factor KD 0.85 0 0.85 okay done after that we know that we will not attack I mean we will not create pressure from S3 1 to top S3 because a base S3 S3 under water uh, under soil will consider parapet 1 meter parapet and here We have to go here. We'll select create wall as set because if we select all set, the every coin wind will come from any direction. That's not fact. You will consider after that go here and I have to select zero degree. But before that, you are seeing that they have no value. That's why we have to press. I mean, we have to assign diaphragm so click ok click ok and again press ok now we'll go to assign diaphragm first of all i will go s to one and press ok so here from that <coughs> To assign diaphragm, first of all we have to go here, define diaphragm, then select D1 modify and it's rigid. Okay, as we are considering our building as a rigid frame. After that, we'll go here, assign shell diaphragm. So from here, select D1 and we have to apply diaphragm according to the frame for that go to select select then here coordinate specification click join in 
xy plane you have to select must you have to select that option otherwise the assigning of diaphragm will be not properly so click here and just go on any on any of that point and you will show a red cursor then click so it's a selected then press here apply sorry they have no slab that's why they have no diaphragm it's showing that's why we have to go our second story then again go here select here click joint in xy plane click here and apply after that go to floor again go select coordinate specification xy press any on here apply again go same way you have to do press apply again select select or this is just to excel apply again sorry select coordinate excel ok then apply again go top floor select coordinate special xy press here apply again go select you have to do that as like previous apply again go top so select select Select, select here, apply and go the last. Select, select here, quadrant XI, XI, okay, okay. So it's done. Again, now we'll go here define here load pattern select will load modify and go here if we click here exposure set with auto calculated from diaphragm extended so here is our value so for s to two to a story at top story so here 0 degree ok ok now again we have to select for y ok add new load modify then add 166.652 to its b importance factor 1.15 1.15 topographical factor kz1 and here is the important thing now we are going to assign we load for y direction so it will be perpendicular to x so 1 and our gauss factor will be 0 0.8498 our gauss factor will be 0 0.8498 d will be same as and from here 
straight one to top use parapet one meter and from here you have to go for 90 degree this is very important uh, when you can see that it's 90 degree so you have to press here 90 degree 90 degree show that your wind uh, load duration is perpendicular to x I mean for 90 degree it shows it's for oil duration okay then everything are okay from here you have to select wall set and here will be the first one and here will be program determined it so everything are okay then press okay then okay so if we go here load case you are seeing that top to x w y we can also take that it's much chosen and the scale factor one so okay now we have to do an important thing here uh, almost all types of load we have applied it and everything are okay now we have to do an important thing so here suppose wind are coming or earthquake are coming but it will not only come from only x direction from that direction and only for that direction it can come from opposite x direction i mean from that point to that point from that point it can come and from that point it also can come but we have assigned our wind load or earthquake load for only according to direction of x and y but not opposite direction of x and y that's why we have to create the opposite direction of it for that it's very easy so for that click on earthquake and click at add a copy of case add a copy of case after that eq that is eq and eq minus and just you have to change the value here minus one because a uh, plus one represent that represent that the direction is from according to x direction and minus represent opposite direction of x direction so press ok it's ok we have found out ex minus similarly for w l x copy that w l x minus here press minus ok again for w l sorry it's x minus okay and for wl y copy of that wl x and wl y minus and here press the minus value okay or opposite direction of x and y value are okay for defined so i found six value of x and y and here dead load live load partition all at full or finish so press ok it's done we have assigned and defined our all types of load for our building analysis so from next video we will start our next part will uh, analysis of building and we'll go within several design check after that we'll go for final design so s12 stay connected till next video thank you thank you very much